Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing at Guilds of Dalinar. This is a game where you are the head of a guild, you send out your people to complete quests and to get loot, and then you are also having to deal with other guilds, so there is a little bit of PvP in there. Let's get into it and just see, uh, see what it's about. So, we're going to start a brand new game, and we get to choose our guild name. I'm going to go with uh, one that I've used before, which is No Time to Res. There we go. Now we can choose our crest. Actually, we have a true. Oh, wait a minute. This is new. This is new. Um, it used to be easy and normal, but now we have hard and very hard. We're going to start off with normal. And if you guys want me to, we can also try a hard or very hard mode. Uh... I'm interested in what they offer by changing to these other modes. But we're going to go with normal for now. And let's just look for... I think we'll go with that, that helmet there. Now we can choose from um, several different classes. We could choose the warrior, the priest, the mage, rogue, and the paladin. We can also choose what race they are as well. And each one also gives specific things. So if they're a warrior, every... Uh, first, second, and third level, so at every uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth level, <laughs> they will get the same thing. So we start out with strength and dex, then agility and stamina, and so on, and that's for being a warrior. But also, as a human, you get stamina and dex, intelligence and strength. But if we were to change this to, say, a dwarf, we're going to get <laughs> stamina and strength every level. So that is a constant... And I think that's what we're going to do for our warrior. Now, as far as our warrior's name, I'm going to go with a name I've used before as well, which is Toter. Um, which, yeah, let's go ahead and keep that. Uh, we have a choice between a priest or a paladin. I think I'm going to go with a paladin just because of the fact that I think we also get a priest as well. And as far as this, I'm going to go ahead and keep him a human because he also gets intelligence and spirit, which I think is going to be more important than strength and stamina, uh, though I'd probably make him a dwarf as well normally. As far as his, his name goes, um, we'll go with a guildy of ours in Mangler on um, the live servers right now, which is Redhorn. Now I have to make him a dwarf. He has to be a dwarf now because that's what Redhorn is. So Redhorn, the dwarf, uh, dwarf paladin. There we go. And um, then we can choose our DPS class, which is a mage or a rogue. And I think I'm going to go with a rogue just because. And then we have a choice between... Uh, we're going to go with goblin just because we don't have a goblin yet. And the goblin is going to give us stamina, dex, intelligence, agility, dex. I kind of want strength. I would think strength would be more beneficial. Uh, am I going to make this a whole dwarf party? Apparently I am. And then we're going to go ahead and name this guy Flip Sides. And I think that's it. Let's go ahead and start the game. Morning dawns at Eden's farm. Thank you for handling those pests for me. They have been messing with my crops for months. Here is your reward. We finally have enough money to register our own guild. I can't believe we finally did it. We can finally get some respect. Office closed. Please visit Vandermeer. How could they close down... Guild registration. What are we going to do? How is this a thing? If you guys are looking to buy a guild, you can buy mine. I'm getting too old to run it now. My guildies and I would be happy to show you the ropes, provided you will help us run the Fist of Drum out of town. Well... Since we can't register our own, that seems like a good deal to us. Alright. 
Welcome to your new guild house. It needs some work, but with some elbow grease, you should be able to make something out of it. Alright, so there we go. That is the story of us becoming the owner of a guild. Now, they've added a few things since I played this. I did try it out a little bit. Uh, one thing is that you can now zoom out on the main map using the scroll wheel. I don't think that was in the game before. Um, also, right-clicking allows you to move around the map. Uh, and pretty much this is just telling us how to play the game. So I'm going to go ahead and get through that real quick. Uh, it wants us to come over here, click the house. There we go. Click on the guild hole. Then we're going to create a party. Okay, got it. You can go away now. <laughs> so, first off, before we do anything else, uh, we can see that it's nighttime up, up in the upper uh, left-hand corner. We can also see that we currently have 1,000 gold. We have 200 reputation. And we currently have 6 of 8 guild uh, po uh, population. So, we can get 2 more guild mates if we want to. And it looks like... Um, let's go ahead and close this real quick. Looks like um, infirmary uh, removes negative traits. That's what this is right here. But it looks like we'll be able to build these other rooms out, allowing us to have more room for more guildies later on. Uh, also, we have a stash up here. This is where anything that we've looted during the time that we've been uh, playing will go. So any kind of armor and equipment. Also, I never noticed this before. We can upgrade. So we can upgrade the whole training rooms, barracks, infirmary, and it costs 500 gold to do that. We could do that right now, but I'm going to save my money. Also, it looks like we can go ahead and level these guys up. Toter is our number one warrior. We have Gunther is our number two. And uh, we have different traits we could go down. So we could go down a DPS Stell tank, we could go with a more defensive or a more commanding tank. Also, we'll probably want pieces from each one of these. So, uh, we have here uh, larger than life. The warrior now has 1% more strength and stamina per point spent. We have a brace for impact. When the warrior casts taunt, they will now gain a buff that reduces damage taken. That might be a thing we're going to do for sure. Uh, armor up. The warrior's armor is increased by 5% per point spent. We also have ruthlessness. Uh, the warrior now deals 2% more melee damage per point. And then we have improved power strike, which is an ability we have. Increases the damage done by power strike by 5%. And then we also have improved bash. Increases the amount of damage dealt by bash by 20% per point. So I'm absolutely going to put a point here. We have how many points? We have three points. I'll put a point there. And I think, I think we're absolutely going to need to go with this as well. This may not be the best way to put our points in. Uh, but it does look like we can respec later on. So we're going to go ahead and finish with him. And now we're going to our paladin. So our Paladin gets Blessed Holy Strike. Holy Strike now does 5% more damage per point. We have Templar uh, Endurance. At the end of battle, the Paladin now receives 25% uh, of an extra regen per uh, tick per point spent. We also have uh, Under the Holy Tree, Empowered Holy Light. Holy Light now does 5% more healing per point. And then finally, Blessed Mine. The Paladin gains 3% more intelligence per point spent. So for this, I want them to be an offensive, but also defensive. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably put just point into each one of these. That way we're, we're working towards the tree, but I don't think we can move to these until the, that five point mark. So maybe a better way to go, but we can respect later on. So the rogue, we have, let's see, we have a lot of things. Improved precision strike, increases damage done by precision strike by 5%. Also, we need to probably start looking for these, like uh, backstab, backstab does 125%. So I may end up just going full points into this just to get to backstab. 
dagger specialization does two percent more damage per point for uh, their daggers improved last rate increases the damage dealt by last rate by seven percent uh, which i think is a dot uh, we also have ailments bleeds and poisons do one percent more damage per point spent uh, focus in Invasive now also grants the focus in buff, which increases agility dexterity by 2% per spent uh, per point spent and unseen unseen uh, Increases all damage done from behind by 2% So I'm going to go ahead and put all my points here just so that I can get to backstab Let's See what these other ones uh, twin slash Worked up Start battle with one stack of savage. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put all three points there. Now then we have our guildies and you can see already that these guys, these older people that have been in the guild for a while, they have more hit points. He already has 72 hit points where Toter only has 51. So let's go ahead and I think for our second warrior, we're gonna need to have the defense up as well. But I also want them to be more offensive as well. So if we have to get to a point where we have two warriors in a fight, we have uh, we have that ability to taunt, but we also have that ability to unleash some crazy damage as well. So bleeding wounds, power strike now to, now adds that's pretty cool. Um, increase armor of your shield provides two hundred fifty percent. For two turns, Rally Cry, uh, Rally Cry increases strength and intelligence of nearby allies. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and put. He has seven points to spend, so we could actually go straight into another ability. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put all my points there, and there we have one unspent. So we're gonna go ahead and armor up. I think that's the best way to go with him. Now, since we only have one actual cleric, this is where we're probably going to spend a lot of points into the healing tree. So, holy is probably our way to go. Increases heals done, uh, heals healing done for five per, uh, by five percent per point. Uh, we also have holy uh, conversion deals uh, direct heal spells now cast five percent less points spent. I don't know what that means. Heal adds. A heal over time, 5% um, per turn. That's pretty amazing. Uh, regenerate heals, heal over time. Um, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to, I honestly think, direct heals now cost 5% less, less mana. Ooh, um, that's, that's important as well. Um... Okay, there's only three points to that. And then we could put two points here. That increases the heals. And then uh, we'll go ahead and put a point into regenerate. So we now have a new spell maybe for that. And I think that's the best way to go for now. We'll work on these other trees later. I have no clue what the max level is. But for now we have at least our... Wait a minute. Oh, I haven't <laughs> done the caster yet. So for him... Uh, we have three spell lines we can go down. Um, we have fire. Increases fire damage by 4%. Increases magic done. Increases magic done by 2% per point. Increases magic damage by 2% per point. Uh, improves frost bolt. Uh, now does 3% more damage. Water increases the water damage by 2% per point. Um, energy blast does three percent more damage. Uh, where you also have increase the mage's armor by four percent. Um, let's see what we could get. If we go this way. We get flame blast. This skill is a fast, short range uh, fire spell. Where this one is meteor skill I think we're gonna go with this so we're gonna go with that Ooh, or we could go with this start battles with one step yeah we're gonna go with that all right so we have high damage DPS here uh, high heals so let's go ahead and create a party 
And I think we're going to take out our, our, our warrior, paladin, and rogue, mainly because of the fact that they are new and these are the guys I created. I want them to level up. We're also going to take out our cleric and our mage. So let's go ahead and create that party and we're going to drag them over to here. So while we're walking around, we may start to see other people walking around and we can press space to pause. That way we can actually see what's going on on the map. We also have conditions to win, amass uh, 2000 fame, fame percent uh, requirements 51%. Uh, complete quest 15, complete deposit cave 1, uh, so that's just to win the game, I guess. I don't know how hard that's going to be. Now that we're here, clear the basement, and it looks like we're going to get a weapon out of that. So, uh, and 100 gold with 75 fame. Let's go ahead and send our guys in and fight. So, now that we are on the battlefield, we have, um, we have all these people that we have to defeat these two um so it's gonna go over the fact that it does show the order at which people are gonna go up in the top here and then uh at the end here once it's reached this point um i don't know if you can actually see it that point it's going to end and that's when the turns are going to start over again now if you uh use these points here you get three points that you're able to use for movement. So you can move three spots, you can cast a spell. If you cast a spell, it stops your movement, but it also increases your location in the lineup. So if you only use a buff, that allows you to be able to then um, get an extra point, moves you back closer to the front of the line, and so on. Uh, this is your spell book, actually a good thing because we now have a new spell, which is Regenerate. And we're going to put that on our bar. And then we have our ultimate. And this is how you cast these abilities. You'll see that it requires holy momentum, holy wrath, and replenishment. And what that is, is each one of these, whenever you cast them, they give you a buff. This one gives you holy momentum. This one gives you holy wrath. And this one gives you replenishment. So once you've casted all three of these spells in a fight, if a, spite, if a fight is that long, then you have this one open up, which is Holy Nova, which dispels and does damage to enemies, as well as it dis well, <laughs> dispels and does damage to all enemies, as well as dispels and heals friendly units. So that's definitely good to know. All right, and then you can end your turn if you want to. So. Say you move two spots, but you want to keep that character there, you can end by clicking that. And now it's having me move. I'm actually going to cast a buff on our tank. And now we have this guy. Let's make sure we should have a new ability, which is Meteor. Let's see what our requirements are for that spell. So we need Latent Fire 2 before we can actually cast that, which comes from this. And then you can also see we have Latent uh, Water and Latent Arcane. Once we have all three of those, we can uh, cast Prismat Bolt. I'm actually have this guy move to here. All right, now it is our Rogue's turn. Let's make sure he didn't get a new ability. All of his are there. Um, so we are going to Increases evasion. Now it's the warrior's turn. Make sure he didn't get anything new. He's good to go. Or we'll move him to the center. Okay, and now it's our paladin's turn. He didn't get anything new. Let's go ahead and just make sure um, causes the target to be stunned. Heals. And then does damage. <clears throat> We're going to move him. Come on now. I just had it there. Remove him there. Now it's their turn. I'm going to go ahead and have him move up. And I'm also going to have him put regeneration on the layer. Okay, 
And now we're going to do fire on him. Wow. Wow. Wow, the rogue isn't going to have a chance to do very much. He's, uh, he's not going to make it very far. Let's just get him over there. All right, and he is going to come over here as well. And can he hit him? Gotta get a little bit closer and hit him. He is down. So the mage, there we go. It's kind of funny because he took the damage, but um, let's go ahead and get a heal on him. And move him up to. Ah. Uh, well, that sucks. I'm going to go ahead and end his turn. This is something I'm not liking, is that you do have to get the ring close enough to him. Alright, let's go ahead and unload. And he misses. Alright. Go ahead and get him. He resisted some of it. Let's get him closer. I'm going to actually have him just hold his ground. I have him hold his ground. I have him hold his ground. And I just want to see what this spell does. And boom. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and finish. Alright, now what we want to do before we do anything else... After battle, check your party's health and mana before taking on more quests. Let's go ahead and continue. It's good to see your guild getting active again. I am Lord Thoris of Vandermeer, and I have a task for you. I gave this task to the Fist of Drum a while ago, but they have not had the guts to complete it yet. I want you to send a party to... Despot cave and kill whoever or whatever is running the place. Lastly, if you have time, you should try to help Elden's farm a light and Light of Drum. They seem to be having some issues, and I'm sure they will reward you for your efforts. To see the rewards, click on the okay, got it, got it. Taking me out of the elements, taking me out of the role playing. In the town view, you got it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at these guys. I'm going to go ahead and click on him. And we're going to put this sword in his hand. There we go. Ooh, look, it actually has a graphic and everything. That's pretty cool. All right. So these guys really didn't use very much. I'm going to go ahead and move them to here. Hey, this is the Fist of Drum. Can I right click them? No. All right, let's go ahead and head this way. All right, have them head this way. And let's see, I'm not seeing any quests yet. But they did say to go to the Light of Drum. Alright, let's go ahead and go over here. There's the Fist of Drum. Oh, a store. Okay, so we can actually get eat upgrades if we want to. I'm going to see, can I sell this? I can sell it for two. There we go. Magic Chest. Armor, this is a uh, cloth, leather, I'm guessing, a magic staff. All right, I'm not seeing anything there that I really want. Okay, we have a quest now with the Light of Drum. Let's go ahead and head there. wonder what happens if we go to the Fist of Drum. Let's see, clear the crypt. 
Let's go ahead and pause. Looks like we're going to get some leather shoulders. And we're going to get a magic staff. So that's pretty cool. Plus 170 money. Does say it's uh, normal difficulty. The crypt below the church has been having issues with the dead rising up at night. At first they were uh, docile and we looked at them more with curiosity than fear. But as their numbers grew, they have become more aggressive. Please help us. Then out the herd. <laughs> pretty much. It looks like it's just two, so we should be pretty pretty easy here. Alright, they're taking an aggressive stance. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a buff on the warrior. And let's see if we can get an early fire. Oh, that tells me they have a lot of hit points. Alright, he is going to go ahead and throw a taunt here. I try to have the rogue. Uh, can't really have him move that way, so he's got to move down here. Can you move? You can move up a little bit. Let's get him stunned. And we'll go ahead and hit him. Okay. Nice. Let's go ahead and bash. Get him up here all right we're back to him Ooh, that does an area effect that's pretty cool um that's oh um holy momentum is off of that as well uh what do we currently have he currently has uh, replenishment. So we're, we gotta do some damage here so we can get the holy aura going. I'm gonna go ahead and have him. We're trying not to use too much mana. We're trying to make sure that we can get through this without using too much mana. But let's go ahead and hit him. And he's gonna do a... Well, that didn't really do very much. None did it. Alright, we're gonna get hit him. Oh, he hit both of them. I'm confused on, on how this is all working. All right, he is low on mana. I'm going to end his turn. I'm going to just let him stay there. We now have Holy Nova. So I'm going to move this, this guy up as close as I possibly can. And I'm going to hold his mana. Keep him from using too much. We're going to straight up attack. Okay, we now have tank and spank ability. That was pretty easy. He resisted. Um, let's go ahead and holy nova. Holy nova it up. There we go. Got everybody healed up. Low mana though. Low, low mana. Let's go ahead and end his turn. Rogue. Let's slice and dice. And then um, we're going to go ahead and have him... Just be nice. Whoa. Hey, now. Let's just have him taunt. Just get him to take the damage. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. In that turn. Dude. That guy has so much hit points. What in the world is going on? He has 117 hit points and he's still... Alright. Ah, oh, he can't do that. He can stun him though. Okay, we kind of have... This is... This is a problem here. We can't move any of these guys. Let's gotta get him... You know... 
I'm gonna move him out of here. I just want him to move so he's, he's away. And we got it. All right, let's go ahead and finish that off. We know for a fact, we know for a fact we need to go back and get heals, mana, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, oh this is bad. This is bad. So, the Shrieking Thieves. I'm going to go ahead and flee it. I'm going to flee it because there's no way I can take them on without with my low mana. There's no reason for anybody to die. Alright, so we're back. We need to get... Um, need to get him into the infirmary. Need to get him into the infirmary. And a rogue into the infirmary. There we go. Now, is he going to get mana over time, or do I got to wait for these guys? Also, wait, hey, what are you peeking up over there for? Get away! Oh, okay, he's... <laughs> Alright, so we did get a item. Let's go ahead and open the stash up. And we also have some money we should go ahead and think about upgrading. So this is leather, but this here... That's a, still the same damage, but for some reason, dexterity and agility... We're going to go ahead and throw that in. Ooh, and he has a new... That that looks pretty cool. Okay, there's that. He's, he's styling, profiling. Everyone is... Okay, the rogue. Let's go ahead and just bring up his tab. And we're going to give him some shoulders. Ooh, and it actually changed the graphic too. So we now have some stuff in storage. If we wanted to... Uh, let's take a look at the map right now. It's kind of clear. If we wanted to, we could actually take out a small party just to go sell some stuff. So we're going to take out our weir. And yeah, I think just the weir. Let's get the stash opened up and let's go sell. Oh, oh, what? Oh. Are you sure you want to? No. Cancel. So let's go ahead and put these in the inventory. We're going to take those to go sell. Let's create. We're going to have them go over here. Ooh, there's two fists of drum out and about right now. That's, that's not, good, not good for us. So while he, once he passes, I'm going to take a look at this quest. Collect blood mushrooms. Holy cow. A, um, a new weapon, too. And it looks like they have uh, an actual named thief. Maybe. Okay, we need to we need to take care of this business real quick. Let's see, cloth helmet. Mm, a plate belt, plate helmet. I think I'm gonna leave it as is. Let's get this guy back home. Before anything bad happens to him. See how these guys are doing. Wow, he is taking forever to heal up. But you can see he now has 72 hit points. Uh, he is in the same boat as uh, Gunther. Uh, okay, Cleric is done. No, nope, that's... That was, uh, we don't have the Cleric laying down. He's done though. He is done. So let's put him back in a chair. Uh, flip side still needs a little bit more mana, uh, then he'll be done. Let's go ahead and upgrade. So we now... Is this the infirmary? Is that what... Is that all it opened up? Was that... Um, who was it that needed let's make sure let's put him down here so he now is sleeping in the okay got it cool okay he's done he's good to go we're just waiting for our, our warrior oh return to the game so I think the next thing we should do is it's telling us to go here for that quest let's go ahead and get a crew together once once our warrior is up and, and running again, let's get him into the new room too. Maybe maybe that'll speed it up for him. There we go. And again, no! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Darn it. 
Let's go back in. Alright. <laughs> Still healing up. Stop pressing escape. Escape is bad. Let's go ahead and have time, time move. So I'm guessing the next upgrade is probably going to be, what, a thousand? Or is it even going to show it? Do we have to get to a certain point? You know what? There, There's a practice area. The training room increases heroes' abilities. So let's go ahead and get him over there. Let's get our rogue over there. Does this help him level up? I, I don't know, but if it does, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's get the paladin over there as well. Nice. Look at that. His his face turns green when you hover over it. That's pretty cool. Alright. One more health. Come on, buddy. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I can't wait any longer. Let's create a party. Um, let's go ahead and get him. The rogue. The priest. Go with the paladin again. We're doing the same group. We're just moving up their locations. Let's go ahead and create that party. And we're going straight. Straight up there. And we got a lot of quests we got to take care of. Ooh, oh, yeah. Let's enter the dungeon. Okay. So this is different. Leave this place. I have a task. To uh, okay, leave this place. I have a task to complete. And my axe hungers. This town, uh, this town and its resources belong to my master. There is no use fighting it. Okay, so we are fighting... A scourge or something but I see three chests so that's that's pretty cool are you Romulus are you Romulan uh, Romulan well, start the battle all right so I'm gonna bring my guys up this time I have him go down here need him to come like in the forefront okay that's good that's exactly what I want him to do I'll bring him over here all right let's unload some damage Nice. That's exactly where I want him. Okay, he's dotted now. Let's go ahead and unload a flurry of, of abilities on these guys. Ah, uh, he's not in range. Son of a gun. Well, I just have him kill him. And then we're going to unload on him. Move the cleric up. Oh, why are you going that way? Okay. 
Nice. Let's get some heals going. Because we're going to have... <laughs> so, uh, hopefully we get some kind of regeneration going. Oh, that's bad. That's bad, indeed. Alright, so... Why don't you have your slice and dice up? I have everything, right? What have I not done yet? He has Savage, Evasive, Conceal. Seal, Savage. He hasn't gone with this one yet. Oh, it's over. Let's take them all. Finish that up. And before we move on, let's take a look at these. So they're both mag uh, one's leather. They both leather. Why would I go? Okay, um, armor, strength, physical resistance rating. Ooh, spell resistance. All right, let's go ahead and go with him. I'm definitely gonna go with the the spell resistance here. All right, how we doing? Ma their mana is actually not that bad. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to head over to here. We're going to get some leather, it looks like, again. Maybe plate and another sword. Let's go ahead and take these guys on. I'm going to actually move him before I do anything else. Okay, and I'm going to move him kind of over here. Kind of separate the two casters out. Okay, good, good. Alright, so he can... Let's go ahead and buff these guys up now. Actually, before I do that, let's get him. I'm guessing their pets don't die if they die. Okay, let's go ahead and get that finesse up. Okay, we got a problem here. I need... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the hammer. Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, this right here. Because I, I need... Alright, he has regen on him already. Let's go ahead and get regen on him. Nice crit. Okay, we need to get a full on. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, I need to get him here and doing something now. Okay, we're gonna lay on. We're gonna lay heels. Gonna lay heels again. Not as much as I was hoping for. Is it I don't have enough mana? What's going on here? I have two counts. Mana cost is 19, and we're currently at 17. I'm gonna go ahead and hold off his damage. Okay, nice resist. We got the new item. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, he we gotta get the hit one of these guys over here. Start working on these guys. That's bad. Did he still get the buff though? Evasion, conceal, finesse. He's good to go. Okay, we still have a good amount of mana, but he he has to heal him. Um, let's go ahead and do some unholy damage to these guys. Didn't do anything, it seems. Okay, one down. One down. 
Oh, he does. He has the stuff. He just can't. He doesn't have the power. Let's go ahead and hit him with a dot. There we go. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. All right, we gotta get. We gotta keep the heels on our on our tank. Even though mana is really really low. <laughs> Okay, nice. I need to move him up to here. We need to get some actual melee going. Nice. Nice. What? No, you can't double cast. There's no double casting. Oh, yes. All right, we need to get this guy up in the in the fray. Save that mana for those heals, because we're gonna need it. Let's get him up in here too. What? I thought I moved you close enough. All right, I guess we're gonna end his turn. Oh no, we got one down. One down. Okay, we're gonna move him right there. Thank goodness. Right, let's take all that and I think we're gonna hopefully we don't run into anything on our way back that's the only thing I'm worried about here uh, do you want to leave the dungeon the dungeon will reset if you do oh that's that's heartbreaking to, to know that but yes uh, I gotta get these guys back here don't you dare move don't you dare head to, oh no please Make that turn. Make the okay. We're good. We're good. Jeez, man, that that's rough. Okay, let's get in here. All right, let's pause this. Let's pause this thing. So first off, holy cow! Look at that guy. Putting him right there. Uh, but let's look at his stuff. Uh, we got some levels on these guys too. Let's check the stash out. Pretty sure this is leather. Holy cow! Look at that. That is so amazing for him. We also got another a magic dagger. Okay, so he has another dagger. What is going on with all this leather? Oh, he we're we're actually seeing what he looks like now. Let's take this off. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, um, he's also ten percent into level. Let's see. Oh, what? I didn't. I didn't do anything. All right, let's go ahead and take that. We have some money items, though. I mean, all leather has dropped so far. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. Let's move this down here so we don't hit the talent thing again. Um, we got one point. Let's go ahead and put it in there. And, wow, let's get these guys healing up. Let's... Divine Will heals the target for a small amount and adds a buff that causes target to receive 35% more healing for four turns. That is pretty amazing. Um, so we're definitely going to put a point in there. All right. Who else needs to be healed? All of them. All of them need to be healed. And, yep. Move him in there. And then... Since he doesn't have a bed, we're going to go ahead and move him there. Let's see what it takes to upgrade. Can we not upgrade again? Is that not a thing? Do, I'm, I was thinking maybe I have to click on something, but it's only... Wait, can't drag like one of these onto somewhere. 
So currently we have no upgrades available. All right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to end here. We were able to do a lot. We got some money. We got some items. Our rogue is actually coming together very well. So that's a good thing. Maybe next time we'll actually have people coming to us asking to join our guild. You get away from my guild house, guy. That ain't right. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. I'm actually really enjoying the game. And this is one I absolutely was uh, thrilled to, to get my hands on. Thank you all for watching, subscribing, and everything you do. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.